guys and welcome back to my channel so I just wanted to say thank you so much for all your support over the past few videos um, I know that they've been like a few changes um, like the backgrounds and the lighting and things and obviously this is like my fifth video so obviously I'm still getting to grips and learning about where is best to film like the backgrounds things like that um, still trying to figure out what works best for me in my home um, with like the lighting and the sound and how best to record whether I should talk in the video or if I should do like a voiceover so I think I might go with this but like I say it's, it's all about trial and error um, and I just I hope it kind of conveys the information and I hope you do like my tutorials uh, speaking of which, I have done a tutorial on this look here. I did this look a couple of days ago actually, by the time I filmed, not by the time I posted it. And I tried to use, I tried to do like a, a dark plum smoky eye, but when I actually used the colour and put it on the eye, it actually turned out to be a nice, really rich, cool tone brown. Which was quite a nice surprise, it was also a little bit annoying as well, but it was quite a nice surprise so I thought I actually love this look. I did post it on the on my Instagram, I love the lip combos with it as well so it's really bold and um, kind of just goes with what I'm wearing as well. And I just, I loved it so much I thought I'd just give you guys a tutorial on it, which is right here. So yeah, let's just jump right in and get started. Hi guys, so I am going to be doing things differently today, but I'm going to start off by doing um, the concealer under my eyebrows just to kind of highlight that bright bone area like I would normally do after I've done my eyebrows. But we're going to do, well I'm going to do my eyebrows later on in the video. I thought I'd give it a wee bit of a mix up today, just trying out new techniques and different ways of how to do my makeup. So this is just going to give the highlight that we would normally give and then I'm going to use the NYX Dark Circle Concealer um, to correct those dark circles that are underneath my eyes and kind of in the inner corner as well. Um, I know that they don't look too bad in the video but they were really bad in real life so I'm just going to use that just to cover over them. And then I'm going to use the NYX HD uh, Eye Primer to prime my eyelid ready for all the eyeshadow. And I'm just going to put this on and then I'm going to blend it all out with a beauty blender and set it with the RCMA No Colour Powder. But I'm only going to be setting the eyelids, I'm not going to set it underneath. Um, otherwise, when we put on our foundation and concealer later on, it'll go all pasty and ugh. I'm listening to music while filming this, so throughout the video you may see or hear me mouth along words or sing along and dance, that's alright, just trying to, you know, get less nervous as I play along and whatnot. So as you'll have seen, I'm using the Naked Basics Ultimate Palette. I'm going to take the second and third shade from the top row and mix them together, and then I'm going to use the third shade, fourth shade along. Um, and I'm just going to blend that all out and kind of make a crease and kind of just make it sure that it's seamless. So I'm going to put the first two shades higher up and then the third shade, the fourth shade rather, further down. But I'm just going to create this kind of creased look and I just want to start off really high up on my, my eye and then work my way down. This mauve shade here I'm going to put exactly over the top where the last shade was and this is just going to help the transition make it just a little bit more seamless and ready for the really dark shade that's now coming up. So you always want to add a little bit of product and then blend it out. That's the best thing to do, especially when you get to the darker shades. It's easier to not do that with the lighter shades, but when you're at the darker shades, that is a must. You really need to do that. And you'll see me just going back and forth, back and forth, adding and blending. And that's why I was holding the brush <laughs> in my mouth, because I knew that I would need it in like a second. So as you can see, I'm just blending it out. And then this is also the colour that we're going to put on our eyelids, but I'm just putting this eyeshadow in the crease first just to help blend it out. I'm taking the Real Techniques, it's a dense blending brush, um, just to pack it on the lids because it's a matte colour and matte colour doesn't pack on very well sometimes. And then again I'm just going to go back and just make sure that is all blended out, pack on more colour, blend it out and pack on more colour. And just It's just a process that can take a wee bit of time 
but you'll get there. And then I'm going to tight line using the Morphe Slate Gel Liner. And I've already done a wing because I didn't film that because I'm going to film a completely new tutorial on that. Um, so I just thought I'd skip over it. There's me singing again. <laughs> Booty back. And I'm going to wipe away like all the fallout and correct like the underneath of those wings with a makeup wipe. And then I'm going to prime my face using the NYX Studio Loving Photo Primer. There was quite a few product shots that I totally forgot to film, so obviously everything that I use will be in the description below. And I'm also going to say it obviously like I have been in the voiceover. So I'm just going to put that in my T-zone, kind of on my chin as well, just where I would get most oily throughout the day. And just so the foundation is less likely to come off or go all shiny and oily. And then I'm going to use the Revlon Colour Stay Foundation um, in I think the lightest shade. Again, that will be in the description box down below. And again, just kind of fast forward through the boring kind of tedious parts that you do every day, see every day. So you know how to put on foundation. <laughs> just make sure that's all blended and even and cover. I've just put some on my hand and then I'm just dipping my beauty blender in and then patting it onto my skin. Don't rub with the beauty blender, smudge it, kind of tap it on. That's how you really want to use it. Had a bit of an itch, a bit of fluff on my nose. <laughs> then I'm going to use the Color Stay Revlon um, concealer. This is in a lighter shade, but I also need to add in whitening mixer. So I've used the NYX um, Pro Foundation Mixer in white to just do this, and I've put it where I would put my concealer every time. So under my eyes, down the bridge of my nose, cupid's for chin and forehead, and then again blend that out with a beauty blender and set it with the RCMA No Colour Powder. Um, that way it's less likely to crease and just come off throughout the day. So you always want to set with the Beauty Blender where you've put concealer. Um, and then if you want to set the rest of your face, which I would always highly recommend, then use a big fluffy brush for that. But be careful as well when using the brush not to get smudge marks. So you might want to wait um, a minute or so just for the foundation to dry because um, I find that even now sometimes I'm a bit too quick to want to set it and then it will just kind of, I'll get like line marks and brush marks where the foundation's kind of been smudged off and it's really annoying because you just can't fix it because obviously the powder's back on it. So yeah, I'm just using this big, this is from B at Superdrug and I love it, it is so soft, it's absolutely amazing this brush. I tap it on all over. Again, when you're doing this with a brush, you want to tap it on, you don't want to rub it on so there's less likely chance of getting the foundation marks. And then when the powder is all over your face, then you can kind of lightly rub and dust it over. I'm going to go back to under my eyes and again I'm going to use that palette that I did before. And I'm going to take a bullet pointed brush and I'm just going to take the two first shades that we used um, first on our eye and just run that all over the lower lash line from the outer to inner corner. Oh sorry, I'm really thirsty, so if you hear me kind of struggling, it's because I'm really thirsty. And I've got powder in my eye, that's why I made that face. <laughs> and then I'm going, yeah, to just smudge that all over um, the lower lash line, and then I'm going to take the mauve colour that we used and do the exact same thing in the exact same place. Just smudge it all over, make sure it's blended out. And then I'm going to take a B16 brush, which is really small but fluffy, so it's really good for blending. I'm going to take a really dark colour and just do it the exact same, just slightly higher up. So we are going to smudge it quite low down, um, but we want, still want to see those other transition shades underneath when we get really up close. But we are going to take this right the way in. And again, you want to just use a little bit for this, just so, again, it's not too heavy. And then I'm going to use the Morphe Slate Gel Liner to... Um, water, use on my waterline and then we're going to go over that with the black eyeshadow in that palette just to kind of set it, make it blacker and just to, it helps the longevity throughout the day. For the eyeliner I use the Too Faced Sketch Marker and um, the black one obviously. Um, I'm going to use the Sleek Makeup 2 in 1 Archery Pencil and I'm just, like I say with the eyeliner I just completely skipped that out but with the eyebrows I decided to just kind of go through it but um, really like speed it up, sped up, speed it up, <laughs> I've got no idea um, because I will do a brow tutorial as well so um, obviously you can get an in-depth um, 
kind of look or tutorial on how I would do those in another video so it saves me doing it in this one because this video was over an hour long so to get it at just under 14 minutes I was super impressed with that because I'm still a novice at editing so I'm like super impressed because <laughs> it was over an hour long it was ridiculous and then I'm going to use the next control freak clear brow gel to set those brows I absolutely love that, um, it's not sleep makeup, sorry, it's Soap and Glory. It's the Soap and Glory Archie pencil and I love it so much, it's like absolutely amazing. My next more to love mascara now, just a thin coat of this just to prepare for the falsies later on. Um, and then the Rimmel Wonderful Waterproof Mascara um, on my lower lashes as well. Now when we're doing falsies you only like to put a thin coat on, otherwise it'll just look too glippy when the falsies are on. And my usual next HD blush in Taupe to contour with my usual double ended number 7 brush. You know the jazz already if you've seen my previous videos, which I really hope you have guys. Um, I know that the views have been getting less and less, but I still want to thank you for the support like I said in the video. Um, so I just, yeah, thank you guys. And you know, kind of, I always contour my nose as well. I'm going to use the Benefit Dandelion blush with this angled brush. God, that would have been a, a mess up if I got that wrong. Funny though. And then I'm going to use the Mary Luminizer highlighter by The Bam. Um, this is absolutely stunning. When I first got this, I think I wore it for like two weeks straight. And I still use it, I think, every day now. If I don't use it on my cheekbones, I'll use it like in my inner corner or for a brow bone highlight or my cubist bow because it is just absolutely stunning. It is gorgeous. And I've wanted it for ages, but every time I've seen it online, I always thought it would be too dark. Um, and then I actually saw it in real life and then I was like, oh my God, this is stunning. I have to get it. And I, my boyfriend bought it for me. And oh my God, it is beautiful. Absolutely stunning. And then I'm going to use the Fleur de Force Fleur Fabulous, I think that's what they're called, from Eyler Lashes. And again, I'm just going to put these on, just speeding it through, um, so you can see how I do it as well. Putting on eyelashes can be so annoying. Like, even when you're, like, an expert at putting them on, because, like, when you have bad hair days or bad makeup days, you can totally have bad eyelash days. And they're the worst. Oh my god, they're so annoying. But anyway, just popping these on, trying to get them to feel right. And then I'm going to use to finish ColourPop More Better Liquid Lipstick. This is a really lovely, deep, plummy, burgundy, ready colour. I know it's really difficult to describe something, um, but it's absolutely stunning this colour. Um, I absolutely love it to bits and I've I've won this quite a few times as well. It's just so bold and colourful but also not being like a blue or like a green, anything like that. So it's still really wearable during the daytime. It is absolutely stunning. And then obviously to set that once I've done, I'm going to use my NYX matte setting spray. And that is this look guys, I really hope you've enjoy enjoyed this video, I'm really sorry for my voice throughout it, I literally just woken up but I really wanted to get this video uploaded. Bye guys!